welcome back to another video today i am actually doing an evening routine because i have actually finished work so this is kind of like an adult version of like an after school routine type thing basically so i've literally just got home it is 20 past five and i am about to go for a walk so i've actually got my gym gear on so i have a dkny uh, what's it called sports bra and I got some TK Maxx in case you're wondering. It is really nice. Uh, and on the back, it actually has a mesh on it. I'll have to show you it. And then I have these shorts in Primark. They are cycling shorts. However, I just feel as if the cycling shorts are not really in my type of thing. Uh, so I have rolled them up and they actually look okay. So I am going to show you. But I'm, I'm basically going to go for like a walk around my local area. And then I will be having tea. It must make making tea for 6 o'clock today. We usually have tea at like half six, but I think just because it is warm and stuff, like we're all quite hungry. So I want to kind of obviously burn it off a little. Like I, I also want to make myself more hungry before tea because I often struggle to eat the heat and stuff. And it actually has been 32 degrees. I'm actually crying. So hence you know, the kind of sweaty face right now. But here it is. So as you can tell, I have a little the sports bra on that is really cute. I don't know if you can see that, but like it's DK and Y. Um, and I am trying to work my fitness a bit, so like, I have been doing like a workout after my walk and stuff, but because I will be coming home like and having my tea straight away, I just want to kind of, you know, just, I was just like chill, have my food and not have to worry about that. I've been focusing on toning in my tummy because, I'm not going to lie, I do have quite a naturally torn tummy anyway, but I'm going on holiday soon, so obviously as a typical girl, I'll probably want to do like a workout for like a week and then I'll give up, but... I'm going to try and stick to this, you know, so yeah, I am going to go on my walk, I will take you along with me, I think it's currently 28 degrees, so I am actually going to be, I will be dying on this walk, but you know what, if I die, at least I'll have it on, on camera. <laughs> yeah, so I am only going to be out for half an hour, I did go for like a walk yesterday and that it probably took me like 45 minutes, but I'm not going to go as far this time, like, I'm just gonna go like, around at my local area. Absolutely sweating, and if one of these AirPods is broken, because basically, um, it must have gone on holiday like for three years ago, probably at of Rotty time, um, and one of them was actually broken. But I don't even know why I came out because, like, it, it isn't exactly sunny, but it's like cloudy, but it's absolutely boiling hot. So, yeah, I'm currently gonna walk. And everyone else is obviously going home in the car so it is rush hour so that's not very good i'm really annoyed because only one airpod works as well so i'm like for god's sake not good yeah but i just need to keep going um and i'm probably only gonna be out for like 20 minutes anyway so we'll just see what it is currently you can even see the time there we're 25 to 6 so yes i'm gonna keep going but warm. Right, we're nearly there, nearly six o'clock, so the sooner I get home, the better, because I need a blooming shower. I am absolutely sweating, it's not even sunny. The walk is done for today because it was just too much to walk any longer, so like, I did a shortcut and basically cut through like house and state and then obviously walked back down again. But this video is basically me complaining about <laughs> the weather, but it's, it doesn't every rich person complain about the weather, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like the curtains are closed because like it's basically blocking any heat to come in. Um, so yeah, and also, yeah, what was I going to do? I was going to do something. I completely forgot. I might do a workout afterwards, but I don't know. Like, I have got like a fan to cool me down, so I maybe could work out and have the fan in front of me. But, oh yeah, um, I was walking on one of the roads and I was just kind of walking up a bit um, and like, this car drove past me and like slowed down a bit and then bipped at me. I was like, who, who do you think you are bipping at a girl who's who's on the walk? Like, I understand I drive short shorts on and stuff, but that's not, it's not acceptable, you know? So I wasn't very happy about that, uh, but I've moved on. I just kept playing my music and just forgot about it, because that's all you can do and just did not react. I didn't even make eye contact with them. I didn't even know who it, it was. But if you were driving on that road in Carlisle, um, when you were in a black golf, then yeah, don't do that again. I try not to have any fizzy drinks as well. Um, before, like, obviously going on the walk and do exercise because, like, it can bloat you. And, like, 
there's nothing wrong with that but I feel like I feel heavier when I've had a fizzy drink so I might as well just stick to the still stuff I don't even know what is for tea what is for tea oh I think I might be having chicken I don't even know what I'm having with it a chicken and mash probably oh this looks like mashed potato to me because like her dad actually made us a cumberland sausage and mash on Sunday and that was really nice so yeah I'm excited and hopefully some nice veg yes starving Marvin right I'm back upstairs I've had my tea I literally buffed it down because obviously like, I've been working since 12 I hadn't had anything to eat for six hours so I was absolutely starving but I do feel a lot better as you can tell my face it's very early now. I am actually going to have a shower now just because I've obviously been walking, obviously working, it's a bit sweaty, you know, it's a bit uh, Um, Yeah, I was actually watching the news actually that a lot of places down south actually they reach temperatures of 40 degrees and yeah, there's literal house fires and everything and like literally fires by the motorway and that was just like, oh my god, what? But yeah, but anyway, I am so hot. Oh yeah, and actually, I'm not going to show you guys obviously but it went out on my walk, but my toenails, it, it was kind of hanging off and it's obviously caught on my trainer. I did obviously take my trainers off and you know, one of my sock was literally covered in blood. So if you hate blood, I apologise, but it was quite painful actually, so I'll have to put plaster on that. But yeah, anyway, oh yeah, this handbag has actually been sat here by the window, so now it has caught a bit of a tan. I can tell it's uh, they gone very kind of tan vibes. You can actually tan better than me. How embarrassing is that? I literally burn in the sun, but to be quite honest with you all, I have had a bit of fake tan on, but yeah, this camera makes everything look really light anyway, but I have kind of caught a very subtle tan anyway, so yeah, but I'm going to take these eyelashes off, just take makeup off, I'm going to use my cellar cleansing water, um, and then I'll have a nice shower. I don't need to wash my hair today, but I think because like it has been really hot, I have to wash my hair every two to three days. Um, yeah, but I think I'm going to have to wash it every other day. Right, so it's time for skincare. So as you can tell, I am in my PJs, in the most shortest, most revealing ones, because I am that hot. I can literally strip. Obviously not for the vlog, because that would not be a nice sight. But anyway, so for skincare, I actually use the CeraVe cleanser. So this is the foaming cleanser for normal to oily skin, and it cleanses and it removes oil without dis disrupting the protective skin barrier of the face and body it says so that's quite good um as you guys probably know by now i do suffer with a really bad oily skin especially halfway through the day when it has obviously been warm and stuff especially i do suffer with really awful oily skin so i am actually just going to be using this khm what's it called a flannel type thing um, and it's actually from B&M in a three pack I actually really like these because firstly they have really nice colours like a hot pink a mid pink and then, and then a red and they do wash really nicely actually so I highly recommend these or you know, the Primark ones are okay as well what I'm going to do is obviously wet my face with lukewarm water just because obviously hot water can you know, cause broken capillaries and at the age of 20 I don't really want them um, and like obviously wet your face I just kind of take any excess product off your face, but obviously cleanser, obviously deep cleanse your face. And then all I do is just take a pump of this and then I will put it in both hands, just kind of form it up and then obviously rip it on my face. Obviously definitely focus on my tea talk, that is where I get you know, the worst oiliness, of course. <laughs> As an oily skin girl or any oily skin people who are watching this, you can relate. Anyway, this, the therapy can just sound really good because they do come in really big bowls and I've, I've actually had you know, that one since Christmas. How many months is that? In February, March, April, May, June, July. The six months, that is pretty good going to kind of take a while. But once it kind of looks all kind of formed upon the face, I will just obviously get you know, the flannel and obviously get some lukewarm water. And then obviously rinse it off. Once face is all dry I actually use the Garnier Somebody on the face and this is really good for adding a bit of colour to your face and then yeah, that's been pretty much done so this is like 
in my skincare routine. I don't actually use a lot of products only because I find if I add too many skincare products into my skincare routine, it just makes me break out a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna use this on my face and then I will be done for obviously cleansing my face for the day and it'll all be nice and fresh for tomorrow morning and then obviously same routine again tomorrow. Obviously my eyes are like so sore, so I will have to put my glasses on. I do apologise, but yeah, when I get eye strain, I get it really bad. But yeah, so basically what I'm doing now, I have just been you clean all my makeup brushes. Obviously, all these makeup brushes, but what I mean is the makeup brushes for makeup clients. So I actually use ISO Clean because this is the best stuff to use as a professional makeup artist or for yourself as well. Always important to clean your own makeup brushes often. I try to clean mine probably every week now. Um, I'm obviously not the best at cleaning mine all the time, but I always, always clean yeah, my clients' brushes after every face of makeup. Obviously for hygiene reasons and everything and like that, health and safety. I have just got in the house because I actually did go for I did actually go for a drive with my mum and sister because obviously Bonnie is learning to drive. If you don't already know, she's booked in her test uh, very shortly actually, so that's very exciting. So yeah, I've just been in the car with her. I struggled to get to sleep last night because it has been really hot um, and obviously when it's warm, it's warm, it is uncomfortable and you just feel too hot to get to sleep, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm actually using Fabulosa wipes to actually just kind of clean like brush handles because these, the wipes are really good. So I basically just kind of get any excess makeup off. If they are covered in makeup and then I'm obviously doing someone's makeup and say if I get the makeup on my hand from the brushes, I can accidentally like smudge it onto the client's face, possibly. So it's always important to get your brushes clean on this end and also this end. Um, always important but yeah honestly I am dreading going to sleep tonight because it's obviously just too warm quality clean brushes as you can tell they're all nice and clean so uh, fresh as a daisy there so I'm happy with them so yeah I also use peaches and cream brushes uh, so we've uh, a P. Louise a Spectrum Real Techniques I use a wide range because yeah, they're all good brands. You might as well test a few brands out and see what you like, you know? Right, I've just made myself a new drink because honestly, so thirsty. Another glass of Vimto and then I'll probably have a glass of water. And then that should be me for, like, a drink and stuff. But I am going to have a very overly ripe banana. I mean, it'll be alright. I do prefer bananas being more ripe anyway, just because I think... Yeah, they taste a bit sweeter and not as like firm either, so I really like that. But oh yeah, yeah my AirPods are still dumped yet. I don't even know where the case has gone for them to be honest. But I am obviously going to do some editing now because I I always try and edit like twice a week, obviously, because obviously two videos a week I like to edit on a Monday or Tuesday night. Obviously, like it is a Tuesday night tonight, so I'm going to do some editing. But yeah, pretty much. This is my evening routine because all I have to do is obviously after editing, obviously have like another glass of water and then probably just obviously do my teeth. The skincare is already done, obviously brush my hair again and then obviously go to sleep and, and obviously try and get to sleep anyway. I mean, this blissy pillowcase has actually been a game changer because like it obviously regulates like your temperature and stuff and like it always stays nice and cool. So it has been a godsend actually, so thank you blissy again. But yeah. So, here is the end of the evening routine. If you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below. Also, subscribe, and I will see you all in another video. Bye, everyone.